Welcome back to my YouTube channel that I haven't really done much on lately um, for a variety of reasons. One being I moved from LA to the Berkshires and got rid of a lot of my camera equipment um, and just got rid of a lot of old habits and a lot of things I was doing that just weren't making me happy. So this was kind of one of the last things that I decided to start doing again. Um, also a lot of technological issues because I break everything that's technology so I broke my MacBook and I can't really edit anything on this stupid little computer I have. Um, so yeah, I, I post a lot on Instagram about my journey of, of coming here to the Berkshires from LA um, and just my journey, my personal journey in recovery and my mental health stuff going on. Um, and I recently had someone reach out to me and it was very positive feedback about what I am sharing on Instagram and he mentioned that it might be nice to start a little YouTube element to um, what I'm sharing there so I thought that that was actually a really good idea and it is something that I wanted to start doing but I just hadn't um, gotten around to really making it happen yet so here we are I've almost been in the Berkshires for a year now so um, I think it's time to get even deeper into all the things I want to do and the reasons why I'm doing them and um, so that's what I'm going to share with you today. So if you follow me, you know that I make bagels um, in Pittsfield and I'm hopefully soon expanding out to other Berkshire towns, farmers markets and cafes and wholesale and stuff like that. Um, and it seems straightforward as to why I would do bagels or make bagels. Um, one being there's no bagel shop here so that you know opened the market up for me drastically but for me it, it actually came from um, a period of total darkness and it, it I remember sitting here in my apartment and um, just being lost and my apartment was empty because I came over with pretty much nothing and I just stared at the wall and I'm like what can I do right now that will make me feel somewhat better and I've always cooked, but I never really baked. And something told me to just make a bagel. Um, so I started making bagels and then it came to like, I need to perfect this. And suddenly all of the things that I was worried about um, kind of went to the back burner. Not totally, obviously, but I realized it was something that was really meditative and mindful for me and something that could, you know, really improve my quality of life. So. I'm always, I'm an entrepreneurial spirit, so of course I'm like, alright, these bagels are pretty good. So let me just reach out to every cafe in the area and see if they want to buy some. Um, so I did that. The first person I contacted was Jess over at Dottie's, and she was like, absolutely, Bagels 2, or a bagel shop that we had here just closed. And I was like, oh, oh my god, I didn't even know that. Um, and then on top of that, there was an investor who wanted to talk about it, and so basically, within two months of being here, I decided to follow something that I enjoyed and do something good for me and my mental health and that f unfolded into a ton of business opportunities um, and I'm sharing that because something I've realized is that the harder I try for something that's not in line with my values no matter how good I am at it I can be successful in it but it never feels good it, nothing really unfolds in a, a clear calming relaxing way it's always you ha I have to try so so hard um, to get anything moving, to get anything flowing, and then it ends up becoming this miserable thing. Um, acting, for instance, not in line with my, my values, and I've made money, but it, it never felt good and calming. Um, so I say that because no matter, no matter, and especially the darkness you're in, really, it's good to find things that are in line with what you wanna do and that you're passionate about. Because even if you don't make a lot of money, like I don't make money at the farmer's markets here, but that's really not the point but I will make money because it's something that not only do I love, but it's something that nurtures my, my soul. And it honestly, it's helped other people. I don't know how, like bagels seem so insignificant, but I've seen how happy people are about the fact that I'm bringing them to the Berkshires. And I wonder if that's because I share things that are important to me and that are human and that are honest and candid and real. And so people, I think maybe subconsciously for them, it's a little more about the, that it's a little more about a little more than just the bagels too, but maybe they don't recognize that just yet. Um, so yeah, really the bagels were not, it wasn't a slick, you know, business move. It was just following what I want to do and, and following 
you know, what I value in my life and the things that are good for me. And then it just turned into a slick business move. And everyone's like, oh my God, that's so good. What a great idea. There's no bagel shop here anymore. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I just decided I wanted to sell bagels and make them because it makes me happy. So yeah, that's my bagel story about how something that was good for my mental health turned into a business opportunity that is now going really well. And I just got into a commercial kitchen. So yes, um, I'm stoked. And there are tons of other things that I'm working on that I hope to share with you as they fold out. So I guess I can pose a question whether you want to answer it publicly or send me an, you know, a DM or send me an email. I'll have my email at the end of this video. Um, I guess my question for you is what is something that you're passionate about that you love to do and that you've wanted to do as a career but have been too afraid of, you know, the lack of, of financial security or pretty much that because I think that's what we mostly worry about. Um, so yeah, what is it? What is something that fills your soul? It may not fill your pockets or your bank account, but it fills your soul. And I think if you follow those things that do that, um, opportunities show up and they may not show up in the way that you think or the way that you want them to but I think they show up so there it is just a short one to share a little piece of my journey and I will continue doing that so I will see you later bye